types of triangles. Example, find side AC. If angle ABC is equal to 36 degrees and angle BCA is equal to 36 degrees, then the sides opposite those angles are also equal. If line segment AB is equal to 24 inches, then line segment AC is also 24 inches. Scalene triangle. A scalene triangle has no equal sides, so no angles are equal. To find an unknown angle, two angles must be known. This is a scalene triangle. In this triangle, all the markings are different. Therefore, all the sides are different. This side has one marking. This side has two marking. This side has three markings. So all the sides are different. Therefore, this is a scalene triangle. If all the sides are unequal, then all the angles are also unequal. Larry Williams has just explained to you about equilateral isosceles and scalene triangles. In prints, one has to often find unknown angles in order to manufacture the object. Let's just look at this equilateral triangle. If it's an equilateral, we know all the sides are equal. Let's make that 14 inches. We know our triangle has 180 degrees, the sum of all the angles, so we divide 180 by 3, and so each angle is 60 degrees. Now, if we take the middle of this equilateral triangle, I drew it with this protractor, and there's a line conveniently over here. This now will bisect that. right down the middle. This will be 90 degrees. Then we know that this is 7 inches and this is 7 inches. And since this is in the middle, then we know this is 30 degrees and this is 30 degrees. Now what do you have? 60 plus 30 is 90 plus 90 is 180. So you have still 180 degrees. And you can see the logic when you bisect this. If you do this again, you got the same thing. And now over here, we have a Sosceles triangle. And again, both these sides are equal. Let's say these sides are 12 inches. And if you go down right in the middle, let's put a point over here, and we go down. And this is a right angle. Now, this base is, let's say it's, uh, it's got to be less than that. So, so let's say it's, it's 20 inches. Then you know each side's going to be 10 inches. And since these two sides are equal, you know these two angles are equal. So this also will be 25 degrees. And to find that angle over here, all we have to do then, this is 90. Now we can add the both 25's together, make it 50, or could we just find the one side? We can do the one side plus 25. That's 5, and that's 11, and so it's 180 minus 1, 115. That's 5. So this will be 65 degrees. And this side will be 65 degrees. So 65 plus 25, it would be 90, plus 90 is, a, is 180. And so these two, the total angle between these two then will be 65 and 65 will be 10, will be 130 degrees. And so knowing this and using logic will help you to figure out the angles and the side. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.